All right, those, so I'm back for our final reading tonight. I hope this message resonates with you. Take what you need and leave the rest. Uh, don't forget, Monday I have a $5 off sale. Okay, so we have engagement and we have coffin. You were in a relationship with somebody and it ended, okay? But those endings will bring you new beginnings, Virgo, okay? We have girl talk, uh, time with friends, and you're moving on. You're happy being single. Though your relationship is over with, you thought it was going to turn into marriage or a higher form of commitment, living with somebody, shacking up, that kind of stuff. You, you're just comfortable being single now, okay? Some of you all aren't interested in relationships, okay? You're just happy being single. And you're going to find abundance in your life, being single, single life, Okay. Keeping a positive mindset, you're manifesting exactly what you want, having gratitude and bliss and, and not worrying about. I think a lot of you, or should I say a lot of us are healing from these relationships that we were in. We're no longer looking at tarot readings about them. We're now no longer uh, interested in what that person is doing in their life. We're just happy being single in our lives, okay? We have the phoenix. You're rising. This is a new phase in your life, okay? A new phase in your life, Virgo. This is you transforming yourself and you're growing. You have a changed mind. At first, you wanted this person back. At first, you missed this person. You didn't know how you could live without him or her. But now look at you. You're growing. You're thriving. It's not like you forget, you're forget. you forgetting about that person. You're just able to deal with it. You're able to live, on, live with it. You're able to move on with your life. Okay. What's going on here for Virgo? being single, the single person that you are, though you're ending a relationship or you've ended, this is new beginnings for you. Okay. It's like, you're totally getting, you're rising above that heartache and pain. Okay. Healing heart. What did I just say? What did I just say? Okay. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. You're done. You are done. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I was looking at a uh, a comment from Jewel. She says, speaking of children, that was uh, horrified what happened in that school shooting yesterday. Yeah, it was. I'm so sorry about that school shooting from yesterday, you all. That was just horrible to hear. Mm, bless those children, those families, and even the person who did that. You know, I hope that that they find some sort of peace and comfort. And you know, that was just sad. So yeah, healing from heartbreak and pain, going out, enjoying your life and not even, some of you, like I said, aren't even interested in dating. It's just the fact that I'm comfortable by myself right now. I don't I don't even want a relationship anymore. I talked to a friend of mine. She's not a Virgo, but she told me, I'm, I'm just happy being single because she hears stuff that her friends are going through and sees things going through, going what people are going through on the news with abusive relationships and she's happy being single. You know, sometimes you just gotta be happy. Just being you, okay? But being alone and being single, you're still going to have an abundant lifestyle when it comes to money, okay? We have uh, welcoming love and meeting uh, love, meeting the one and opening your heart, getting together. Some of you all will meet the one. Whatever it is, you're, be, you're single right now, that's fine. But you will have the one in your life. You will meet the one. They'll hold the key to your heart. So it's, you're not going to be single for the rest of your life. There is an, an opportunity for you to be happy, Virgo. Just got to let this come to you softly, okay? Live your life. You keep enjoying yourself. Keep doing what it is you're doing because it's working. I think that you're going to get money in the bank before you meet the one. And some of you already know that I need to work on me first before I even think about being in a relationship. I'm not prepared mentally, physically, and emotionally to be in a relationship. So it's best that I be by myself, okay? Some of you all don't want a relationship and we have not today. You know, you don't want to be bothered with anybody. It's not that you're being rude or, or anything. You just don't want to be bothered. You just don't. That's just you, you know? You don't want to be, you're avoiding a conversation, you know, you're setting boundaries. And even with the ex, the phone may ring while the, you get a text message, you're still angry at this person for hurting you. Well, if you show a little anger, you still, of course you're gonna always have that feeling to you know if you they I heard that if you angry with an ex and they call back that me you still have feelings for them. I don't think that's the case. You don't want to deal with them no more. You're just not today. Leave me alone. I'm over you. Fuck off. Period. You know. 
Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. And we have here the snake, you know, um, they were very malicious to you. Um, this could have been someone who cheated on you with somebody else. And after you broke up with them or they broke up with you, the other person was stalking you or something like that. Maybe kept calling you or um, maybe your ex kept calling you, wouldn't leave you alone or something like that, you know, but you have grown. Okay. You are standing away from all of that. You're healing these obstacles. You've learned from those mistakes in that relationship. This is a new phase and you are actually preparing for union, preparing for marriage. You know, you're preparing for everything you've ever wanted, but right now you need to focus on you, which is why you're probably unconsciously not wanting to be in a relationship. It's not that you're not ready. You don't want one right now. Okay. At least some of you don't. Sometimes it's good to be on your own. I'm gonna get you a spirit animal. Let's get a spirit animal for Virgo, please, for this reading. What is Virgo's spirit animal? Virgo's spirit animal. I keep seeing, um, what do you call those? Hummingbirds outside of my window at work, y'all. Hummingbird. Let's see. What message do we have for Virgo? What spirit animal? Spirit animal is the prog horn, which is action. Okay. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. So this is something definitely dealing with your finances, Virgo. Your finances, that's going to bring you abundance in your life. Just open, be open and be willing to listen to spirit. And spirit is telling you there are some good things that are going to come your way financially, uh, like I said, I think that your finances are going to grow before you meet that one. Before I think spirit wants you to learn some things, to, to work on yourself first, to work on only you know what needs to be worked on in your life. Okay. And, and I, I think you feel some of you all, you're not ready for a relationship. You don't, not that you're not ready. Some of you, you just don't want one right now. You don't want to be bothered. Okay. It's not for all though. We have the Ace of Cups. We have family, we have contentment, we have stability here, okay, in your life. Love, you know, celebrating life, celebrating a good relationship, a wholesome relationship with somebody, Virgo, okay? There's an opportunity for it here, okay? Take action in your life when it comes to your finances, maybe finding a job, finding something different, opening your own business, home-based business, some. I'm hearing home baked baked home baked baked home home based baked business. That's what I'm hearing. Maybe somebody wants to bake cakes or cookies or something. Okay, make some pickles or something. Do something, you know. While you're single. And we are taking action and making and instead of thinking about it here, actually putting yourself out there. Okay, we have uh, the queen of pentacles here. This is saying, you know what? I'm sorry, the queen of swords. I'm looking at the, the cups. But definitely putting yourself out there. There are opportunities out, out here, huge opportunities for you to grow, okay? What is it that you're thinking about putting out there? Why is it just a thought? Have you thought about doing something about it? Putting yourself out there saying, okay, I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone. I'm communicating. I'm being objective about this. I'm, I'm, I'm writing my plans out. I'm writing out my business plan. And we have here money, seven of pentacles. So I definitely think that, that your life is going to get so much better, but you have to be the one to move forward and take action. Have this energy and the passion to be inspired to do something, okay? Because it's going to bring your income. But and not only your income, I think, I, like I said, I think spirit really wants you to work on yourself first before you pair up with somebody else because they're working on themselves too. Okay. And we have here the night. Somebody's working on themselves and they're going to meet you. And both of you all will, will finally be in a relationship. They'll have what they need to survive. You will have what you need to survive. You're going to bring that two together and find bliss. Nine of Cups. That's wish fulfillment for you. And, and it's like you're not alone at this. It, it, it's, this is equally yoked, Virgo. Okay? But you got to have your half of the yoke, too. Okay? And we have here the King of, of Pentacles. But you don't know it yet, but this person is coming into your life. But you got to work on you first. 
This is finding new ways to, I'm hearing investing for some of you, if you can afford it. What is it that you need to do? Um, what are the thoughts and energies that are running through you? Uh, if there's some sort of conflict in your life about relationships in general, this is why you don't want a relationship because you think they're a waste of time. And that's okay. You don't want to get hurt anymore. That's fine. That's understandable. But there's definitely some energy around your income. I'm hearing the influx of your income getting better before you meet the one. Because they're doing the same thing on their end, spirit. spirit. Virgo, okay? I hope this message resonates. I will talk to you all tomorrow. And don't forget, Monday, May 30th, I'm doing readings that are $5 off. All of the readings, Monday only, okay? Talk to you all later.